Welcome back. Don't usually have a hiccup within the first 10 minutes of a live stream. And unfortunately, there's no way to connect the old live stream the first 10 minutes and now. But thank you for joining right now. I'm actually getting ready to go into <coughs> a teaching from Master Shaw on the nature of the five elements on the nature, excuse me, of the fire element and its relationship to um, the emotions of depression and anxiety. And as everyone rejoins, we're going to go ahead and move forward with this. We're just going to wait just one more minute. And I'm going to be uh, offering a teaching from Master Shah's book. <coughs> welcome, uh, Yvonne, and welcome, Allison. And this will be... Uh, a baseline teaching and then as indicated before the previous live stream cut off uh, I'm going to offer a flow and the flow will be on the power and the significance of the fire element and its relation to depression and anxiety then I will offer every listener including those that watch this video later a transmission from this book and this healing transmission is is just so beautiful it will be yours permanently forever, and we will use it to assist us in this uh, healing aspects of the depression and anxiety. <clears throat> so I will go ahead and start. Now this is directly from Master Shah's book. <clears throat> the fire element includes the heart, the small intestine, gallbladder, eyes, and the liver as well. Excuse me, that's the uh, wood element. Fire element includes the heart, the small intestines, the tongue, and the blood vessels, including all arteries and veins, capillaries, and in the physical body, uh, anxiety and depression in the emotional body. So that's your basic understanding. It also includes, unbeknownst to many people, the balanced emotion of joy. That is the opposite of depression and anxiety. <clears throat> the finger associated with the fire element is the middle finger. So it's this one in the very middle. So that is associated with your heart. Uh, the taste associated with the fire element is bitter. So in some, if you went to see a, a traditional Chinese medicine doctor, they might tell you to eat more bitter foods. What are they telling you? This will strengthen the heart. The color is red. <clears throat> the weather is hot. The associated season is summer. The associated direction of the fire element is south. And it is, um, the energy is called expansive energy. So, I'm now going to do a flow on the nature of the fire element in relation to the uh, emotions of anxiety and depression. And we'll see if we can get some additional insights. And with those insights, we'll receive this transmission and we're going to use it to serve and heal and release some of these blockages. Thank you all for finding me again after that Facebook dropped. We will now continue. Dear Divine Tao Source, dear Master Shah, to the soul of the fire element and the, the uh, power and significance in the relationship of the fire element <clears throat> balances and imbalances that could bring more joy and or release anxiety and depression. We love you, honor you, respect you. Could you please, borrow my mouth, offer a teaching for me, for all of us on uh, the video, so that we can have a greater understanding of the value of understanding this wisdom and how it can serve us for healing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <coughs> this is the soul of the fire element for all universes. I am one of five. My service is not limited to my realm. I am an aspect of an overall balancing effect. You have asked the relationship between me and the condition of depression and anxiety. In each of the human vehicles, in each of the Shen, Qi, Jing, energy and matter that makes up the energy body of the human vehicle. There is the necessity for my balancing. 
When I am not in balance with the water element, for example, then there is too much ferocity. The water element soothes and calms, assists me to stay in alignment with my greatest intention and power. When one experiences depression, there is a lack of my elements. When one experiences anxiety, there is an excess of my elements. The, ne the necessity to allow me to be in your energy vehicle in balance is truly important. There are many things that cause me to be out of balance. Some are directly related to the heart and the heart center, but actually many are not. For example, if someone experiences a mental trauma, this causes them to have an upset stomach, which is the small intestine or the yin aspect of the young uh, heart. This imbalance in the yin yang aspect causes me to naturally be out of balance. There are many ways in which the human vehicle responds from the physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual bodies. When you chant using me to help to equalize, then you want to allow me to do what I know is best. Using additional treasures, such as one that you will soon receive, I can incorporate with that treasure to bring balance in the areas that are imbalanced. It seems somewhat illogical on some levels that an imbalance in the small intestine or an imbalance of the Shen Qi and Jing somewhere in the back of your leg veins might have an effect on the anxiety or depression. But because of the nature of the flow of the universe, the nature of the flow of each element upon each other, the nature of the homogeny of the entirety of all. This is one of the reasons why these imbalances can occur. Specific to the message center, specific to the heart. When I am in balance, then you will find yourself in far greater joy Joy is not that difficult to attain if one strives to maintain awareness and gratitude in each moment. This is easier said than done, or so I am told by those who have been in your realm. But it is my encouragement to you to follow those in the higher spiritual teachings that bring this slice of wisdom to each moment in their life. They strive to be in the moment, in enjoyment, in gratitude. It is this which transforms whatever might be up for you in that moment and will allow you to energetically disallow the foothold sometimes that the emotions of depression and anxiety can get. It is the conscious awareness and choice to follow these suggestions that will realign your magnetic and energetic attraction and therefore my element. This is but a tidbit of wisdom that will assist all of you if applied. This is the soul of the fire element. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Always learning some wonderful things. Thank you to the soul of the fire element. So welcome, Pat. Welcome, uh, Lily. Thank you all for joining. Hopefully that flow from the fire element soul brought uh, new additional insights and wisdoms to you. So now we're all going to receive a huge blessing. We are blessed that Master Shah has placed transmissions in all of his books. These soul, mind, body transmissions 
are light balls and they are condensed light balls. They carry the divine's frequency. The divine <coughs> literally uh, took so many, so many, so many uh, lifetimes to be the divine. And so in order for us to receive that frequency, we'd have to have a, a, a middleman or a mediator through which those frequencies can come to us. To receive a transmission just by reading the dark print in a book is, is truly astounding. It would take, as Master Shah would say, it would take a monk sitting in a temple chanting six hours a day for 60 years to serve humanity and he would grow a light bulb the size of a piece of rice. Yet we can read this and instantly we have something the size of a quarter in our body that would take us at least a hundred lifetimes to achieve. So always be in gratitude for this and never minimize the power of your transmissions. So prepare to receive. Dao order through the authority given to me to offer through this book to all those that are watching on this video. Dao order, Dao golden light ball, golden liquid spring of Dao compassion, soul, mind, body transplants to all those who are watching this video now and in the future. Prepare. Transmission. Dao order, join Dao compassion. Soul, mind, body, transplants as one. Hey, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, yo, yo, yo. Hey. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So now we honor this Tao. This is not a divine. This is a Tao. Soul, mind, body, transplant of compassion. This is an extraordinary, extraordinary treasure. And Kristen, thank you for joining. You just received the... Uh, Dao Golden Light oh, and Golden Liquid Spring of Dao Compassion. So repeat after me. Dear all of my downloads and treasures, please turn on. Dear my Dao Compassion light ball, please turn on. I love you. I honor you. I appreciate you very much. And I'm deeply grateful for your Dao Compassion to help me to clear my Shen, Qi, and Jing blockages related to depression and anxiety. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we didn't just turn on the one treasure, we turned on all of them. Much greater light. <clears throat> now we're going to use some of the sound power that Master Shah has taught us in this book. And we're going to use body power. So place one hand over your heart, the other hand over your lower abdomen. <clears throat> you would close your eyes. No need to see me. You know what I look like. Visualize in your heart area golden light or rainbow light if that's easier for you to visualize. This is your body power. Mind power is the visualization. Sound power is Jurya Yo Dao. We're going to change the last word four more times. We're going to chant this one for now. Soul power, let us connect one more time. Repeat after me. Dear Divine, dear Dao, dear Source, dear Master Shah, dear all my transmissions, I love you, honor you, appreciate you. Could you please bless me to release depression and anxiety and replace these emotions with joy. Thank you. Now repeat this forgiveness practice. Dear all souls that I or my ancestors have harmed, especially if we have brought to you the emotions of depression or anxiety as a result of our actions, thoughts or words, I humbly and I deeply and I sincerely apologize for this at all times if I have caused any of these emotions with you. I ask for your unconditional forgiveness. If you have brought the emotions of anxiety and depression to me through your thoughts, words, and actions, then I offer you my unconditional forgiveness. I am 
grateful for this opportunity to receive your forgiveness. Thank you. And let us chant Jiriya Yoda with your eyes closed, visualizing golden rainbow light. Jiriya Yoda. <coughs> Jiriya Yoda. 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 And now we change the final word to Jiriya Yojong. <coughs> Continue. Jiriya Yojong. 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 And now Jiriya Yo Ling. 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 Jiriya. Yo Ling Jiriya 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 Yo and now, Jiriya Yo Shu. Shu means emptiness. Jiriya Yo Shu. 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 Jiriya Yo 
し、昼夜よし、昼夜よし、昼夜よし、昼夜よし。昼夜よし、昼夜よし、昼夜よし、昼夜よし。And now we say 昼夜よ空、空、空 is center、道。昼夜よ空。昼夜よ空，昼夜よ空，昼夜よ空，昼夜よ空，昼夜よ空，昼夜よ空。昼夜有空，昼夜有空，昼夜有空。Last round， 昼夜有空，昼夜有空，昼夜有空。昼夜有空，昼夜有空。Keep your eyes closed. Check in with yourself. How are you feeling? Relaxed, released. Are you vibrating? Are you more positive? This practice balances all aspects of the fire element and the heart. Please return and share. What was your experience? I will now offer a flow on the value of this practice for everybody, and then we will read some of your comments. <coughs> How? This is the soul of this mantra. I was honored to be. Received in flow by the one known as Master Shah to be written permanently into this book was the greatest honor of all time. It gives me the opportunity to be the unconditional servant I have always wanted to be. My mantra has been in existence in heaven for over five billion of your years. It has been known by those in heaven for this time. It is used by the highest saints as an aspect of balancing their five elements. Today. Through this book, through this medium of this temple venue that I am in, I was able to offer all of you some extraordinary blessings. There will be some of you that simply will not be the same tomorrow. You will feel as though a heavy load has been lifted. The combination. Of the countless saints, temple souls, treasures from this temple alone, that offered you their virtue because of their pure heart, and the 
blessings that I am allowed to offer you through this book have caused all of you on average to release 150,000 Shen, Qi, and Jing blockages. Had this blessing not occurred here today, for 14 of you, there would have been at least 15 more lifetimes in which these kinds of emotions could have been quite predominant and potentially have created the taking of a life for two of you. This is the value, the power, and the significance of the presence of the temple and my service through this blessed book. Be sure to call on me and use my services often. I will serve you unconditionally. This is the soul of the mantra. Jurya Yodao. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's always nice to hear the, the voice of the different souls. So many different souls. You know, it took me uh, about eight years, actually, to, not eight years, about three years, to, um, to grasp that everything has a soul and to apply that wisdom in my everyday communication, in my everyday action, to actually speak to soul, to actually uh, uh, do the say hello correctly, you know, do the soul of my knee, the soul of my back. Um, but when I grasp truly that everything has a soul and then I open the spiritual channels, this allowed me to, to ask these souls questions. I didn't know that the soul of this mantra would come in I had no idea, it even had a voice, but that's the soul that wanted to speak at this time. And it had a message it wanted to share. So I'm very grateful for its beautiful message. So thank you all for joining. I haven't seen any sharing as a result of this blessing, so I can assume you're all in the Hundun. Um, I know I received some great blessings for it. I feel better. Let me drink a water here. And Esther says she feels in peace, so relaxed, her breathing is more deep and is more deeper, if I might say, she says. Kristen reports, I love when doing, uh, when I love when doing, but I'm actually in the shower listening to, <laughs> okay? And then, <clears throat> great, thank you for sharing, Kristen. So I just checked and um, I wanted to be able to offer a, a a blessing uh, higher than, than, than what I'm going to be offering and I was not allowed to because of the nature of uh, this condition. The emotions of depression and anxiety can have a pretty high karma associated with them. So it's like, no, nope, I can't allow you to, uh, to offer that blessing that I was thinking about offering. Uh, Yvonne says, just attended to this live stream presence in the temples and from the blessed book. Uh, Jerry Ayodao, great blessings received and tons of blockages removed. That's very important for your soul journey. Thank you, Yvonne, for that, uh, for that comment. So, yesterday, for those that were on the line, we used the Divine Healing Hands and one of the transmissions that was in this book to offer a blessing. There were, everybody received a huge blessing. I was doing a soul reading while the blessing was occurring. And two people reported that they had um, a physical condition occurring for them that was quite limiting. And um, uh, it was limiting in that they were in pain and they weren't quite sure what to do about it. And during that blessing, uh, they received huge benefit. One of them was actually not off before the blessing started or after it started. And then um, she still received the blessing. Because I remember, I went back and looked at it today, uh, the blessing itself, so I could listen to what was happening for people. And one of the things that was said was 
this and right at the beginning of the flow it said this blessing is reaching all those who will watch this later as well <clears throat> and then this uh, the student that was watching yesterday commented that they received huge benefits and they weren't even watching and so it goes to show you just how generous and how benevolent our beloved creator is that um, you know he, he just offers unconditionally to anyone that has joined so it's truly truly uh, huge so we're going to ask one of the uh, blessings in this book to offer everyone a blessing here today for this condition of anxiety and depression. <clears throat> and we're also going to ask all your templates to offer any additional blessings as appropriate to do so. So we're going to do another forgiveness practice to make sure that we get the highest possibility of success. This is truly the key. I cannot express this enough. Before we ask for any blessing from any source, anywhere, we get it from a divine channel, we turn, get ready to turn on our own treasures, we go to Master Shah's Tao chanting channel, uh, always ask for forgiveness first and during the blessing, possibility of, of a, a far superior healing and blessing is so much greater because it's the forgiveness that truly is the key for your success. All kinds of whistles and bells going off all around you. I apologize about the extra noise. I'll do better next time. <clears throat> so let us connect. Again, repeat after me. Dear all souls, if I or my ancestors have harmed you by thoughts, by words, by actions, especially if we have brought upon you the condition of anxiety or depression. From the bottom of my heart, I deeply, deeply, deeply and sincerely apologize. I would never wish this condition on anybody, and I cannot imagine having done anything that would cause others to have these emotions. But if I have, Know that I am so great, so deeply, deeply sorry. And I ask for your unconditional forgiveness. I want you to know I have learned my lessons. I ask Divine, Tao, Source. I ask Master Shah. I ask the blessings that I'm about to receive. The countless saints, saints, animals, temple souls, healing treasures. To please assist me as much as possible to release these emotional conditions of anxiety and depression. I am so, so very honored and grateful. I offer my unconditional forgiveness to all souls that have brought this form of suffering to me. I recognize I might have caused this suffering to you first in a different time. And I sincerely apologize if I have. If you have reminded me by bringing this back to me in this lifetime, I wish to release you unconditionally of any karmic debt by you causing this to me. I do not want us to do this again and again. Let us move forward in love, peace, and harmony and forgive each other unconditionally thank you thank you thank you <clears throat> let us connect one more time to the divine healing hands repeat dear the divine healing hands blessings in master Shah's book I am so honored to receive your divine hands for my condition of the anxiety and depression and any imbalances in my fire element. I am so grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we're going to chant Divine Healing Hands balances my fire element. And you want to visualize God's divine hand inside your body radiating golden light, balancing all aspects of the fire element. <clears throat> so let us begin. Divine healing hands balances my fire element. Divine healing hands 
Balance is my fire element. Divine healing hands. Balance is my fire element. Divine healing hands. Balance is my fire element. Divine healing hands. Balance is my fire element, divine healing hands. Balance is my fire element, divine healing hands. <coughs> Balance is my fire element. Divine healing hands, balance is my fire element. Healing blessings will continue. Continue to chant on your own. I will offer a live soul reading as to the blessings you are receiving now. Continue to chant. <coughs> At this time, the Divine has called forth all of the saints, animals, treasures, and every temple that has an association with the fire element. These have come to each of those that are receiving this blessing now and those who watch in the future. These incredible beings, incredible servants, scan the bodies, see clearly the imbalances. The saints' animals go to those areas and literally pull out blockages. The temple souls follow up, radiating their light to heal rejuvenate, rebalance, and stabilize the areas that had been carrying Shen, Qi, Jing, fire, energy, imbalances. There are calligraphies that have come with this blessing as the calling was made for all those in the center who wish to help. The calligraphy of Tao creation and reverse creation was overjoyed to offer some assistance. Now this calligraphy is spinning in two directions, creating fire energy balance and uncreating fire energy imbalance. This is happening in each of the specks of energy and matter to the entirety of your emotional, and mental, physical, and spiritual bodies. As this is occurring, there is the necessity to rebalance the information in each of your Akashic records as this level of blessing is truly extraordinary. It is the benevolence of Master Shah's agreement that these souls in this temple are offering this service today to all of those who are blessed enough to be present. Your Akashic Records has been altered. There are quite a few souls who heard your deep forgiveness practice. They have agreed to release you of the suffering that had been causing for you. They have left and have agreed to accept the virtue being offered through the benevolence of all those servants who came here today on your behalf. The Divine has rewarded each of those 
because that is the nature of the divine's heart. Those have given unconditionally, the divine rewarded them for their unconditional service. This fire element of blessing is coming to an end now. There is a message. I am the fire element. Once more, I offer you an important message. Do your best to keep me in balance. It is the imbalances in my nature that create heart attack. It is the imbalances in my nature that instigate severe anger. It is the imbalances in my nature that create severe depression. How do you keep me in balance? You do the practices that are made available to you. You serve at least 15 minutes a day for others. And prior to your service, ask, dear, all the five elements, please bring balance to me as I chant to serve others. This simple request will make us aware and we will come to you, assist you with maintaining the balance you so need. You are all very blessed today. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let us all bow our heads nine times to the beloved uh, holy beings, all those that came here today through the calligraphies, through the book, through the divine healing hands to offer their incredible, 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 incredible service. We are all so, 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 so very blessed. So I invite you all to share, to please uh, offer any, um, any experiences that you might have had, if you felt anything, you felt any heart opening, any releases, any emotions, if you felt any physical shifts in your body, uh, vibration, heat, anything of that nature. It's important for all those that might see this in the video or might just read some of the comments to understand the value of it for them. I am in the process of posting these on YouTube as well, and it takes a little time because it's a rather large file, <clears throat> and there's a lot of um, back end to make a uh, YouTube visible to the world, but uh, they will all eventually go up and have their opportunity to be seen. And so each of these uh, will have the greatest impact to, to serve um, with your comments because those will go with them. So, yeah. So you have been very blessed today to receive these teachings, healings, and guidances. You've been very blessed to receive uh, the blessings because we're at the temple here today. Tomorrow, I will be focusing on the earth element and the condition of worry. Many of us carry worry. We carry it around with us like it was our best friend. And so we will have opportunities to release and transform that tomorrow. I invite you to in, in, uh, watch this again. I invite you to share this with others afterwards and to make sure you uh, offer any of your comments as to the results and benefits of these healings and blessings here today. I'm going to finish this a little bit early. I'll go ahead and take some time to read some of the comments, uh, but we'll still finish in a timely manner. Kristen Rojas writes, Wow, powerful divine healing hands blessing. She was completely knocked out, felt tremendous clearing in her heart, as if the divine's hands are resting on her huge on her heart is a huge opening. Move to tears. Thank you, thank you, thank you, beloved Master Paul. You are so welcome. Uh, honored to offer that great service. And Johnny says, that was amazing. I felt a heavy burden lifted, feeling lighter and inner joy. Yeah, I tell you, that was a huge blessing, Johnny. It was truly a remarkable huge blessing. Um, all those who are watching this today, all those who watch this in the future are very blessed. Make sure you share this with people you know that have anxiety, depression. Make them watch the whole thing. They'll get a lot more out of it when they watch the whole thing. It's like the icing on the cake. 
<coughs> um, Yvonne says, countless grateful for the souls who give, forgive us and agree to leave us. So true. They agreed to leave us because of our sincere, authentic request for forgiveness and the blessings. So, yes, very, very um, authentic and important comment, Yvonne. Thank you for sharing that. It's always important to offer our gratitude to all those souls that, that have left us. One of the things that I do, and I only do this for uh, the, so, so listen to this blessing, this uh, way is offered carefully. When I offer my food, my drink to the divine Tao source, to Master Shah, to beloved Jesus, to Mother Mary, to Buddha, when I offer, I also offer to all the heavens, generals, and soldiers who risk their lives to pull out the darkness. I offer it to the Akashic Record leaders and workers who are constantly writing down all of our thoughts, words, and actions, good and bad. Countless. I offer it to our heavens teams, guides, angels, and saints. I offer it to the um, to all the downloads and treasures that I have received. I offer it to the countless saints, saints animals, and temple souls and treasures, and all of Master Shah's books and calligraphies worldwide. <clears throat> because they are offering their unconditional service, just like here today, they offered their unconditional service. So when we take the time to offer our food, our water, to them, we can, we can, we can, they come even more when, it's, when we truly need a blessing. And specifically, this is the part I want you to hear. I say, dear all the souls who have unconditionally forgiven me and my ancestors through any of the blessings of Master Shah and his worldwide representatives, I offer you this food as well. The key is those that have unconditionally forgiven through the karma cleansings and blessings of Master Shah and his worldwide representatives. When we do that, we are saying thank you to all those souls because they came to us because we caused them suffering. And they agreed to release because of the karma cleansing and the blessings from Master Shah and his worldwide representatives. So we want to offer them our greatest gratitude uh, for their agreement to release. And it also assists them to feel good about that choice. We're saying, I don't forget you just once for releasing. I honor you each time I think of you because without you leaving, I would still be suffering. You see, this is the deeper wisdom of forgiveness. Always offer that gratitude to those that have left you. So um, Crystal says, what an amazing blessing and practice. I felt an incredible clearing in my heart. The forgiveness practice was very heartfelt. Yes. I agree. So let us finish for today. We wish to offer deepest gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you to Divine Tao Source, to Master Shah, to this temple, Master Shah's Tao Healing Center in Honolulu, to the countless saints, saints, animals, temples, souls, and treasures, uh, and all those that came to offer their service here today. We offer our deepest gratitude to all of those who have agreed to accept these blessings and leave us. And we ask that you fill our heart and soul each time we ask for forgiveness, that you stay away, that you know we have learned our lessons. We ask that all those souls that did not want to forgive, to please hear our heart and soul any time in the future, we offer, uh, uh, ask for a sincere forgiveness. Know that we have learned our lessons. We ask you to please hear our hearts and leave when you are ready. We thank all those that have joined us here today on video. Please like, please share, and we'll see you again tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye. Aloha.